Hey everyone, it's Matt, and I'm in the process of making my rope molding for my mirror surround. I'm going to show you how I started out. I had a 1 inch by 2 inch piece of MDF, ratted it on each side, 7 8 diameter bit, and then I marked my lines where I wanted to start making the, the cross pieces for the rope. Then I took this router bit here and started cutting into it about, I don't know, a little over a quarter inch deep. And then I took this bit right here, which I'm going to show you um, how I start shaping and rounding the edges on it to make it look like rope. And then I'll take a piece of sandpaper and sand it down to where you know, have a little bit of a roundness to it. This is a this is a machine piece of rope molding here. It's done by a CNC machine or a lathe. And I'm just trying to mimic that. But they don't make real wide pieces of rope molding. So that's why I'm making my own. So I'm going to show you how I carve this by hand. Go ahead and turn the machine on here. What I'm trying to do is take off the edge and get it down into the groove and round it over a little bit just to give it that, that round over look and then I can take the sandpaper and uh, finish it up. And what I'll do is from this one side, I'll work from this one side and then I'll turn it around and, and work, the, work this end down. And you can see it can go fairly fast. I mean, it's not like if a machine was doing it, like a CNC, but if you don't have a CNC, this is how you got to do it. Just if you're creative and you want to do your own stuff and you can't buy it, you got to figure out how to do it. That's one benefit to being an artist. You're creative enough to figure it out. And then what we'll do is I've got the um, mirror surround over here, and what and what it's going to do is it's going to fit it's going to fit down in between like so. It'll go in there like that. So when you look at it, what's going to happen is that the mirror surround will be in the white fish color, and I'm going to take this out, and I'm going to stain it really dark and like in a dark brown and I'm going to glaze it with a black glaze so when you look at the mirror surround you're going to have this two-tone look with this rope molding here embedded into the casing and then up above in this area here across we're going to have a projected light box about three or four about four inches out and we're going to put uh, lights like little mini can lights up here so the light shines down onto the mirror so we're going to get this done. After I get it all carved up and sanded, I'll show you what it looks like after it's all put together right before we spray it, and then we'll go ahead and spray it. And uh, <clears throat> I took the uh, vanity down to the showroom, and we'll take this down to the showroom and put it in place, and you'll see what the entire look is like. So until Matt, or until next time, this is Matt at Matt Goss Designs. I'm cracking myself up. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.